breaking news the world of warcraft reddit is in shambles right now <laughs> but anyways people are going crazy season of discovery i don't know i think i think everything's like great right now i love the way things are going other than like certain specific things obviously i'm not expecting the dev team to be perfect a lot of people on the reddit are they're like we need a ptr everything should be perfect as soon as it comes out this is season of discovery they said they're testing different things and you're expecting them to like be perfect every time they release something no you should be grateful that these developers are listening to you and actually making changes in the game so many people have come in complaining about i guess they've been complaining about incursions and the incursions have been nerfed to the ground i don't know why like incursions were I thought they were great. I was having fun. My friends that don't usually have fun leveling in WoW were having fun because they're extremely casual gamers. They only get to play a couple days a week rather than like the super, super like <laughs> hardcore people that are playing all day, every day somehow. Uh, they've got a work from home job, they're retired, whatever. Old men, some of us are still working. A lot of dads, they don't have a lot of time on their hands. The nice thing is, you can at least level up a character. Um, I mean, with incursions, I thought they were great. And I mean, as far as I've heard, they're still great. Um, some people have leveled up, you know, four or five characters already. But it's really nice when, like, like my friend, he doesn't get to play for multiple days at a time, and then he gets to be able to come back. And doing incursions is perfect for him so that he can catch up. He can at least have a character at max level. I think so many people are, like, freaking out because... There's so many people that have tons of characters and then the casual players come back and they're like, oh, I don't get to enjoy all the fun that you guys got to have. And like, in my opinion, <laughs> even if you're a hardcore character, you can just level and make multiple characters. Make leveling easy. Blizz needs to make leveling easy. Make it easy because then the hardcore players, they can have multiple characters. I would love to have a couple, a handful, two or three Instead of like retail, I can only have one because it takes forever to get all the gear you need just to be able to do any high level content where, you know, season of discovery, I got max level, did my incursions, got honored, got full this gear from the incursions, and then went and ran Mard on a couple times, got my wild offerings, and we went in and raided and we cleared all the way up to the second to last boss. So, I mean, I was happy with that sunken temple all the way up to the last boss honestly so many people are complaining like i know it's been they've tuned it down and they did that within a couple days and people are crying about it it should not be this hard like they could change it it's not that serious you don't have to clear it day one why are you crying and complaining man like grow up but i want to jump into some news um we'll just go over some wildhead stuff really quick um Obviously, they know about the bugs. Um, if you haven't already, once you get level 50, go do your pre-raid um, Wild Gods quest. Super easy. You can farm ZF or Oldman, or not Oldman, Maradon. Um, there's new engineering quest line. Super cool. Um, they found out that uh, the Sunken Temple buff um, spawns in, was it um, Stranglethorn Vale, the Buda Bay? There uh let's see what else you can get 18 slot bag from the uh, waylaid supplies super cool more changes they're nerfing the crap out of st because people are complaining um they find out emerald chips are a currency used for the incursion um reputations blah 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 people are using <laughs> the bargain bush as a for hide and seek that's super cool i think that's super creative um kind of kind of iffy because you could just completely hide the flag behind the bush um, but whatever <laughs> they finally found the ace of nightmares um, it drops off of weaver in the sunken temple if you didn't know um, and then they figured out the crafting chain quest which is super long and yeah <laughs> and I called this in my guild from day one that they were gonna make this trinket unique. People are like, oh, I'm just gonna get two, dude. I'm gonna farm like 34 of these wild offerings, dude. Uh, no, 
Because guess what? They made it unique. Why were they two trinkets where you get a crit and hit? Not going to happen. Not going to happen. I think that was, I think that would be kind of obvious. Nerf Shade of Veronicus even more. Um, this is the craziest thing people have been complaining about is the account restrictions for 30 days. So after you make a new account, you can't trade or nothing for 30 days. This is perfect for bots, but for people that are brand new to the game, um, and I've seen videos, people talking about this, they're like brand new to the game. They can't trade. They can't use the auction house. Bro, imagine not being able to get bags for the first 30 days. You can get level 50 in 30 days if you really wanted to. And you're not going to be able to buy bags or use the auction house. I would, I would, I'd go crazy. <clears throat> but it does help, you know, get rid of bots. But still, like, you, you can't stop. You can't, you can't not let people trade. If you're brand new to the game, I need to be able to trade my buddy and give him bags and gold so that he can enjoy the game. I mean, 30 days. All right, make it maybe like a couple days, maybe 24 or 48 hours, but not 30 days. Crazy. Um, they did increase. So they <laughs> that's what's crazy. So from 40 to 50, you were getting 50% XP, but now they raised it up to 75%. They said they were gonna they might make it even more there. So um, we'll find out. Um what else has happened? Yep, nerf Takar. Um, they finally fixed the <laughs> Logan Loganar, so he doesn't disappear after you get the quest. Dark Moon fares out, and uh, the new shoulder enchant is craftable from alchemy. That's really cool. Um, yeah, other than that, like I said, uh, people are complaining that ST is too hard. Like I said, it doesn't need to be cleared in the first day. Just let them let them adjust things. These guys aren't perfect. They're human beings. Like you should be grateful that like they've made this game as great as it is right now season discovery is amazing people should be more grateful if i could talk to the devs i would love to talk to them and just like tell them how amazing they are all the things that they've added all the work that they put into the game and it's a small team of devs either way um let's check out the subreddit this guy posted a damage for this sunken temple for the first week let's go rogues dude we're finally shining dude Melee Hunter, still at the top. <laughs> Enhancement Shamans are still up there. Warriors are coming back. Range Hunters are coming back. Who's struggling? Oh my gosh. Arcane and Frost Mages don't have any love. Fire used to be like the best. Now they're like below mid. DPS Warlocks too are below mid. That's crazy. These guys need a little buff for sure. Um, I don't give a shit about Balanced Druids. Because um, Feral's where it's at. We need that Fury Strikes buff. Um, <laughs> we need that. Um, Paladin looks like in a good spot. I mean, Fire Mage, these, these mid tier, maybe they could. Uh, I mean, I don't want to get nerfed because <laughs> we're so high, but I mean, this is not a bad graph. These Frost Mage and Arcane Mage definitely need a buff, they definitely need something. Man, is 100% an issue. That's crazy. Yeah, everybody. I seen another one here. Y'all got any more of them? Innervates, mana potions. Yeah, healers are. Our healers were always asking for innervates in Sunken Temple, which I mean, it sounds like healing is fun right now because these guys are they're struggling. Which you know, as long as they're not like dying, struggling, and not having fun, because um, that's part of being a healer, at least in classic, is running out of mana. As far as I'm concerned. Um. But it's not classic, but it's it's not classic. It doesn't matter. It's a new game. This is classic season of discovery. They're adding new stuff. I'm just talking now. Holy smokes, two grand for an agility? No, uh, I ain't getting that. I ain't even got that kind of money. Uh, this dude, they should change the sleeping bag to give more experience. Three three percent is nothing. Nothing. Um, yeah, there's just a bunch of people complaining on the forums. This place was like, somebody was saying or made a post how the forums is, or the Reddit is so toxic. If you find the missing paladin, room, please don't tell anybody. <laughs> That's another reason, like, I kind of like that there's no PTR because people just go in there, find everything and then tell everybody. And then everybody knows it's cool that like everybody's kind of finding it out. 
while we're all playing together because I don't want to go play the PTR. No, I ain't got that kind of time. Um, they should obviously like have specific testers to test certain things and they should be able to test certain things. But, you know, like I said, they're not perfect, man. Yeah, um, that's all I want to talk about today. Hope you guys enjoy. It's a goodbye, just a goodbye. Forever and ever, you never come back. Just a goodbye.